Five weeks ago, I made this cube terrarium. Here's how it's looking today. It has been sitting on this rack under a relatively bright LED light. It receives 12 hours of light a day. Before showing you inside, I'm gonna give the glass a quick clean as there's a slight algae buildup, which is completely normal. And I'm just gonna put this light on so you can see inside a little better. As you can see, the Christmas moss has fully carpeted the foreground, which is exactly what I wanted. And it's also doing great up on the spiderwood as well. Although there's a little die off, the HC Cuba is still growing and well. And pretty much all the Busa Philandra in the tank has sent out new leaves. This is a sign that it's acclimated and it's healthy. Although it's growing very slowly, the coral moss has begun to spread and is latching onto the lava rock. The weeping moss down the centre has been doing well, but it's growing relatively leggy. I'll take care of that later. Using some scissors, I'm going to trim down the Christmas moss up on the spiderwood. Trimming the moss will stimulate new growth and encourage it to grow lower and more dense. Ideally, I want this moss to be creeping along the branches and not stretching for the light at all. Now I'm going to trim the weeping moss down the centre of the terrarium. As I mentioned, trimming the moss will encourage it to grow lower and more dense, which is what I'm looking for down the centre of the terrarium. Instead of pulling the moss out, I pushed it down onto the substrate. If you watched the original video, you might remember that some of the boost leaves had holes in them due to deficiencies in their old setup. I'm going to go around and remove most of these affected leaves. Instead of the plant wasting its energy on maintaining these deficient leaves, it's much better to trim them off and it can focus its energy on growing new healthy ones. This will mean that the plants won't look as good or as filled out for the time being, but trust me, it will be worth it in the long run. Here's all the leaves that I cut off. As you can see, most of the plants have shot out new roots and they have found their way down to the substrate. As I don't fully close this terrarium, I've been spraying it every two to three days. The springtails have done an excellent job of eating any mold that has popped up, even on the spiderwood, which is prone to growing mold. Overall, I'm very happy with how this terrarium's looking after five weeks and can't wait to see what it looks like in another month or so. Thanks for watching and check out this video to watch another nano cube terrarium build.